Are you a breastfeeding mom wondering if it's safe to enjoy sushi? In this video, I'm going to show you the best practices for eating sushi while breastfeeding, so that both you and your baby can enjoy the experience. 1. Is it safe to eat sushi while breastfeeding? Yes, it is safe to eat sushi while breastfeeding. The risk of bacteria and any potential contaminants in the fish is low, provided that the sushi is fresh and prepared safely. Additionally, consuming small amounts of seafood while pregnant or breastfeeding has been linked to improved brain development in babies. If you choose to eat your or partially cooked fish or shellfish while breastfeeding, make sure they are stored properly and eaten within a day of being caught. 2. Is there risk to my baby if I consume sushi while breastfeeding? The general consensus is that there is little to no risk for your baby if you consume sushi while breastfeeding. Sushi may contain foodborne pathogens, such as listeria or salmonella, which could be transmitted through breast milk. However, these risks are considered low and can usually be avoided with proper hygiene when preparing and eating sushi. Additionally, it's important to ensure that any fish used in the sushi is fresh and properly stored at a safe temperature to reduce risk of contamination. 3. What types of sushi are considered safe to eat while breastfeeding? Generally, sushi made with cooked fish is considered safe for breastfeeding mothers. Cooked fish that is already prepared, such as seared tuna or salmon sashimi, should be fine. It's preferable to avoid sushi made with raw fish like yellow tail and salmon, if the raw fish has been previously frozen according to FDA guidelines, then it may be safe to consume. It's important to note that any seafood must be fresh and properly stored in order for it to be considered safe for consumption during breastfeeding. Additionally, some other types of sushi are also safe for nursing mothers such as California rolls and vegetable tamaki. When enjoying sushi while breastfeeding, it's important to pay attention to your body and take proper precautions. Eating too much sushi or other seafood may lead to increased levels of mercury in your body. Monitor your intake, and if you experience any adverse reactions after consuming sushi while breastfeeding, consult with your healthcare provider. It's always best to err on the side of caution and speak to a doctor before making any dietary changes during pregnancy or postpartum. Four. What ingredients should I look out for when ordering sushi? When ordering sushi while breastfeeding, it is important to consider the ingredients. Depending on the particular sushi you order, certain ingredients may potentially increase in your breast milk if consumed during lactation. These include soy sauce, wasabi, ginger, and possibly even salmon, tuna, or mackerel. Soy sauce can be very high in sodium, so try to order sushi that does not contain it or limit your intake of soy sauce when eating sushi. Wasabi can contain various compounds that may have an effect on a baby's delicate digestive system. Ginger is known to increase the production of breast milk, but should still be avoided, as too much can cause gastrointestinal issues for babies. 5. Are there any potential side effects from consuming sushi while breastfeeding? In general, there are no major side effects associated with consuming sushi while breastfeeding. However, as with any food you consume, it is important to watch for any potential allergic reactions in your baby. Additionally, some of the ingredients used in sushi can present risks if consumed in excess or in combination with other foods that could be potentially dangerous. For example, salmon roe or akura, which is a common topping for nigiri and maki sushi rolls, contains high levels of vitamin A, which can be toxic when consumed in large amounts. It is also important to be aware that any raw fish can contain parasites or bacteria that could cause an infection if not properly prepared and stored safely. If you have concerns about these potential risks, speak to your doctor or another medical professional for additional advice. 6. Is it safe to eat raw fish when breastfeeding? It is generally not recommended to eat any uncooked fish during pregnancy or while breastfeeding, as it can be contaminated by parasites, bacteria, and viruses. However, 
If the raw fish that you're eating has been frozen at a certain temperature for a certain time period in order to kill off these contaminants, then it should be safe to eat during this time. When ordering raw fish from a restaurant or store, make sure that you ask about their preparation process first so that you know what safety measures have been taken. Additionally, it's important to ensure that your sushi is made with fresh ingredients and prepared properly in order to avoid any potential food poisoning risks. 7. Are there any other foods I should avoid eating while breastfeeding? Yes, you should avoid consuming raw fish and shellfish while breastfeeding as they contain higher levels of mercury, which can accumulate in your baby's body. Other foods that are best avoided include caffeine-containing beverages such as coffee or energy drinks, alcohol, and certain spices like garlic, onion, cinnamon, or cayenne pepper, which may affect the flavor of breast milk. Additionally, it is important to limit your consumption of processed meats and high-fat dairy products. Eating a balanced diet with plenty of fresh fruits and vegetables helps ensure that your baby receives all the essential nutrients for healthy growth and development. Overall, it is important to be mindful of what you're eating while breastfeeding. While sushi can be enjoyed in moderation, certain fish and shellfish should be avoided. Additionally, limit your consumption of processed meats, high-fat dairy products, caffeine beverages like coffee or energy drinks, as well as alcohol and spices that may affect the flavor of breast milk. We hope this video has been helpful. Please comment below if you have any questions about enjoying sushi while breastfeeding or share other tips on how to maintain a nutritious diet during this time period. Don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.